Hi friends, good morning. In last topic, we have discussed about the particles of the resuscitation to the newborn. Today, we are going to speak about the initial steps of the resuscitation and how to apply bag and mask on the face, how to count the heart rate and how to refer the baby to the higher center. So, first, why should we know about the resuscitation and why it is important? Why? Because when the mother comes with labor pains, with head on the perineum to the hospital, as soon as the baby is delivered, what should we do? We have to adjust the breathing and crying. See, if the baby is not breathing well and not crying at the moment, what we have to do? We have to do the resuscitation to survive the baby. So, at that is a golden moment. That is very important to do the resuscitation and to save the baby life. At that moment, we should very care and awake for one minute. We can give 60 years of life to the newborn. It's really very good chance God has given to save the baby life. Now, I will explain one by one. First, now the baby is delivered. We have to assess the breathing. So, if the baby is not breathing well, what should we do? We have to check the meconium. Meconium is not present. We have to dry the baby. If the meconium is present, we should suction the mouth and nose, then dry the baby. After that, again we are assessing the breathing. Now the baby is breathing well. So, if the baby is breathing well, we have to give routine care or observation care. Everybody have a doubt about what is observational care. Now, I will let you know. So, observational care means we have to provide warmth to the baby and observe breathing and temperature and initiating the breastfeeding. Again, we have to check the complications of the newborn. What are the complications like convulsions, coma or breastfeeding problems? So, if the baby has any feeding problems or any complications, we have to refer the baby. Hi, save the children and give good life and future to the children and happiness to their parents and family. Okay, now we are referring the baby to the higher center. So, till now we have learned if meconium is not present, what should we do and what is observational care. See, now the meconium is present and we have to suck the mouth and nose, dry the baby. If the baby is not breathing well, we should follow the initial steps. So, that I will tell very easily to remember that is CPP and PSSR. What is CPP? Cut the cord immediately and position the baby on flat surfaces and provide warmth to the baby. That is CPP. What is PSSR? Position the baby neck slightly extended like this. Suction the mouth, nose, next after that, stimulate the baby like this very gently. After that, we have to reposition the baby. After completion of these initial steps, again we have to assess the breathing. See, now the baby is not breathing well. We have to ventilate the baby for bag and mask for 30 seconds that too with the chest rising. So, before going to give the resuscitation, we have to check the few steps. First, the size of the mask and the clear airway. Position the baby with the neck slightly extended and position yourself to the baby's side. Okay, now we have discussed all these steps. Next step, we are going to show how to apply the bag and mask on the face. See, this is self-inflating bag and I will let you know parts of this bag. 
so this is mask this is pop up wall what it helps it maintain the ventilation pressure if you give high or low it can maintain the pressure so this is bag this is oxygen inlet and this is a air outlet now we have seen the parts of self inflating bag now i will i will show how to apply bag on the face first hold the mask with thumb and index finger like this see mouth and this nose should cover next fourth finger and fifth finger should chin forward to bring see now the chin is forwarded to maintain the clear airway so before giving ventilation we should check the mask is sealed or not it is sealed so how many ventilation we should give 42 to 6 60 beats per minute we should ventilate the baby so while you are ventilating the baby you are seeing yourself squeeze to 3 so now i will show how to give see now the seal is in correct way now i will let you know how to give squeeze to 3 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 see now i have completed five ventilations after that we have to check the chest rise see now the chest is not rising if the chest is not rising what should we do again we have to recheck the mask is sealed or air is blocked or pressure is not giving enough after rechecking again we have to cover the nose and chin same way which i told after that again we have to ventilate the baby for 30 seconds squeeze to 3 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 now i have given five ventilations now we have to check the breathing so the baby is breathing well what if the baby is breathing well what should we do we have to give routine care or observation care now the baby is not crying and breathing so now we have to continue bag and mask ventilation and connect to oxygen if it is available so just i am showing this okay after that we have to stop the ventilation for 6 seconds why we have to stop the uh, stop ventilation for 6 seconds means we have to count the heart rate i will let you know how to count the heart rate first we have to count the heart rate by palpating the cot pulse or by stethoscope see first you should count for 6 seconds and should be multiplied by 10 for example if it is 8 for 6 seconds multiply by 10 it is 80 that means heart rate is 80 per minute so i will let you know what is normal rate of heart rate so heart rate is more than 100 is normal to the newborn less than 100 is slow so if the heart rate is more than 100 we can continue with the bag and mask ventilation with the oxygen for 30 seconds like squeeze 2 3 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 now i have given five ventilations now i am checking breathing now the baby is breathing well same we have discussed that we can provide routine care or observation care okay after giving this ventilation if the baby is not breathing well again we have to continue bag and mask ventilation with oxygen and we have to make the referral with the referral slip so while referring the baby advanced treatment like any medications and intubation should give and make the baby refer to the higher center now today i have discussed step by step resuscitation and the process how to count the heart rate and referral next 
we will discuss about the labor pains and stages of labor how to count the abgar score and why it is important we will next to come with another topic okay if it is useful to anyone you can share like subscribe and comments until then bye thank you for watching this video